I'm Matt Matthews, and tonight we are at the Hard Rock Live in Orlando, Florida for a sold out show. This is my last show of the year, number 63 on my When That Thing Gets Thing and Comedy Tour. I am super excited. Look, we're clapping. Look, he just came out the damn Adams family. So we're here tonight, and uh, look, there he is right here. Switch foot. There he is. Look, Jaw Stone. Incubus, the yeah yes, where I'm at. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Oh, there goes Taylor Swift. Alice Cooper. He had a show. Uh, he had a show right next to me in uh, Evansville. Uh, Florence and the Machine. I love her. Watch, they'll put me all the way back here by the bathroom. Hey, hey. Okay, you didn't have to pop off like this. We're at the Hard Rock Live, getting ready for my show. And they have brought out the food. What is this? Uh, that's part of the fajitas. Oh, girl, I thought that was some, I thought that was eggs. <laughs> I was like, girl, that's some fucked up looking eggs. You wanna hear me play the piano? Let me hit a tuna lick for y'all. <clears throat> Me, 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 me. Are y'all ready? Here we go. And this is where you get murdered. Fuck you, stupid bitch. I'm working on my variety show. Really? The Mash Variety Hour? Yes, bitch. <laughs> okay, that's it. This is the end of the concert. Bend the knee. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Do y'all know they wouldn't let me in at security? I heard about that. I'm so I said, oh. they said, we need to see your ID. I said, it's in the back of the trailer and it's locked. I said, do you really need to see my ID? He was like, I need to see if you have permission to be on the, on the premises. I said, do you want to have a show tonight? <laughs> Good. My God. Let's go see the stage. Welcome to the stage at the Hard Rock. This is where we're gonna shake our titties tonight. How's it going? Hi, hi, hi. See, I don't know why y'all are here tonight, but I just wanted to say hello. See you soon. I should go get dressed. <laughs> Unbelievably inspirational, and he's unbelievably funny and talented. He is the most genuine human being, and he's hysterical. He's a beautiful individual, and y'all need to come see his show. Oh, because he's fucking hilarious. I concur. <laughs> I was not expecting to be as hilarious as it was. He goes more in depth than what you think you're actually going to hear. Oh, because he's funny, and he's wonderful, and he, he knows how to work an audience. I just love the show. I, everybody should be here. It's... Uh, Broad-based, interesting, fun. It's fucking hilarious. It's the truth, <laughs> and you're gonna get something that's totally unique. It, it, it this shit is funny. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our second show that we've seen Matt. We've seen him first time in Richmond, second time in Orlando. We wanted to end the year with him. He's absolutely amazing, funny every show. Also, you're gonna get something different every time. So that's why we did two shows this year. And next year, we're probably going to see another one. We love you, Matt. He is funny as hell. We crack up at his silliness and just all the crazy shit he says. He's the best comedian that we've seen, and we've been to many, many comedy shows, and he made us laugh the entire time. Everyone should come see Matt because he will have you laughing from start to finish, and uh, he definitely needs a Netflix special, so. Agreed. He was real as shit. 
and uh, <laughs> told it like it is. So it was, it was great. Matt is so real. He's genuine. He's hilariously funny. And he has some poignant stories to tell. Absolutely. He's taken the diversity in his life and the challenges and has turned them into an amazing show that's extremely funny. Please take the time, get the tickets, come see Matt Matthews. I promise you, you will love it. He is very, very funny. It is just really crazy to me because literally a year ago, I was performing at the Stardom Comedy Club in Birmingham, Alabama with 70 people. I've said this before, like I didn't plan to do comedy. This literally just kind of fell into my lap. And it is just so wild to me how you guys literally took this kind of little sprinkle of a idea and blew it up into this incredible tour. I've done 63 shows. This is my 63rd show this year. Like baby Beyonce only did 60. The fuck? It is just insane to me that, you know, this is still happening and we've extended the tour next year. So the tour goes from February to July of next year. We're filming my special. I started this tour just doing a handful of comedy club. That was it. It was gonna be kind of like just a fun thing. Everything kept filling out and then I got signed with an agent and then everybody was like, well, let's do this and let's do this. And here we are, 63 shows ending the year at the Hard Rock Live with a sold out show. And it is absolutely insane. The fuck, here we are. Like, it's just, it's just, you know, I just say that if you have a little desire, you know, something that you want to do, there's a dream that you got. You know, I always say just, just give her, give her a shot. You know, you never know what is going to happen. I went from doing one comedy show to a world tour. And we're going to London next year. We're going to Canada. We're shaking our titties internationally. It is just incredible and I'm so thankful. And I feel like I say that so much. I'm so thankful and I'm so grateful. But seriously, if it were not for you guys, none of this would be possible. So let's shake our titties. Let's end the year in Orlando at the Hard Rock and I'm ready to go have an incredible show. Yeah, I saw your ass. <laughs> Spitting in your little cancer cup. Nasty bastard. You think people want to just come to a show and see you fucking spit in a cup? Come on. Surprise, bitch, you on candy camera now. My God. White straight men, y'all, I'm telling you. And I live on a farm. You live on a farm? I see your boots. Sir, them boots ain't even dirty. You gon' you gonna let the gay farmer outdo you with them clean ass boots. What are they? Double H. Oh, you broke. <laughs> you couldn't get no Justins or no Ariats or nothing. Spending all this money on that fucking dip. I see your fucking dip cup too. You're gonna get cancer and your whole fucking teeth is gonna be gone. You're just gonna be gone. Hey, baby. You wanna go to the Matt Matthew show? <laughs> Bitch, you waited a whole year and you took her to a Chinese restaurant. Was it a buffet? You ordered off the menu. Oh, excuse me. You're bougie. So are y'all married? Yes. Oh, not married. How long you been together? Three years? Y'all engaged? Red flag. <laughs> Do y'all wanna get married? Do y'all fuck? <laughs> Shit, I just gotta make sure cause y'all bitches are slow, okay? Do y'all live together? Damn! Three fucking years? It's your decision, ain't it? Yup, I knew it. Fucking women. That's why I suck dick, okay? What what y'all got a chair in between y'all for? The tickets were bought and people couldn't make it. Well, bitch, the show's halfway over now. You can scoot together. What? You got all your stuff right there. Your, your dick ain't that big, okay? Come scoot together. 
He's like, there's just not enough room right here, man. Just, we are just, where did y'all meet? Tinder. Swipe right, swipe left, all right. Where, uh, how long ago? Four and a half years ago. Are you dating, married? Oh, you're about to be married in March. She said, not me, bitch. <laughs> Where did y'all go on your first date? A pizza bar. Oh, a beach bar. So y'all went on a bar on a beach. Did you take a long walk on the beach afterwards? No. No, he said I was fucking with her coconuts, okay? So you went to her house? Damn, bitch, you don't waste no time. Y'all fucked on the first date. Fuck you lying motherfucker. <laughs> Ooh, that's your mama. Ah, oh, shit. Sorry, is that your dad? Oh, shit. Hello, sir. Thank you for being here tonight. I'm very glad you're here. You look mighty handsome. Hello, mom, you're beautiful. Thank you for being here tonight. We appreciate your company. You couldn't have warned a bitch. <laughs> so y'all getting married in March, what do you do? You're a brewer, so you're an alcoholic. <laughs> there you go. What about you, ma'am, what do you do? You're a who? You're a data analyst. Oh, you s'more. He said, no, that bitch is dumb. <laughs> he shook his head. Mm -mm. I bet she makes more than you. That's what I thought. How about that? He's over here trying to be talking about some fucking. I'll make some beer. And she ain't smart. She obviously ain't. She's marrying your dumb ass. All right, ma'am. Tell me about your 22 year love story that you've been fucking itching to talk about. Okay, where did you guys meet? CupidJunction.com. What the fuck is that? That is like, that's worse than AOL chat. It was AOL chat. Y'all was in a chat room. She said, chit, 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 chit. She said, ASL, bitch. Oh my God. Were you in the military? What branch of the military were you in? Navy. Thank you for your service. Now you're retired, living the best life. Y'all still fuck? I just gotta ask, you know, because they say that once you get old, you don't fuck no more. And I'm worried about that. I wanna make sure I'm still fucking, y'all know? Like, 20, yes, high five me. Make sure it's your good hand. I love you. <laughs> How long have y'all been married? Y'all ain't married? You, six years? What is something that he does that you can't stand? <laughs> Breathe. <laughs> you snore. <laughs> like you're sawing logs. You, you got sleep apnea. You got, you got a mask and you still snore? You still snore? Bitch, put a pillow over his ass and smother that motherfucker. You got life insurance. You good to go. What is she, what is something that she does that you don't like? I'm really fucking these bitches out tonight. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, he's getting anal tonight. Yep. You're welcome. Thank me later. I have been trying to get my wife to buy a double headed dildo with no luck. Would it be wrong of me to buy it and gift it to her for my use? <laughs> Let me explain to you how to do that, okay? First of all, you want to take a lot of lube, okay? Like, I mean, you want to get it just as lubed up as possible. Now, don't just ram it in there, okay? Like, you gotta go slowly. Slow and steady wins the race, okay? If you want to start first, you can just go down just a little bit. Wait a minute. Go down just a little bit. Wait a minute. Go down just a little bit more. 
Wait a minute. Just a little bit more. Wait a minute. Then when you're ready, you can really go to town. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to help y'all out. Men, straight men for sure. I don't know why y'all trying to play so much. Do y'all know where y'all's G-spot is? Y'all don't even know how to fucking find your G-spot, do you? It's in your asshole, okay? Thank me later. I should start a talk show. Talk Sex with Matt Matthews. Do y'all remember Talk Sex with Sue Johansson? Yes, it should be Talk Sex. I'm, I'm here for it. Netflix, let me know. Okay. My husband, oh damn, it's a lot of gay men in Orlando. <laughs> My husband wants to bring a man home to enjoy with me. How do I tell him nicely that no one wants to do what he wants to do? You just gonna have to trust me on this one. So basically what you're saying is your man ugly as hell. Sometimes you gotta be honest with them, you know? Sometimes you gotta tell them, bitch, you ugly. Sometimes you just gotta give them, to give it to them straight, tell them the truth. This straight man is looking at me like he is about to kill my ass. <laughs> you know, just be honest with you, man. That's all you gotta do. Communication is key. What's happening? Somebody fighting? <laughs> beat the ass, beat the ass, beat the ass. Same. Beat the ass, yeah. Hit that bitch with the chair. Jerry, 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 Jerry. That was my favorite show growing up, y'all. You got that, right? Hell yeah. That's going on TikTok. <laughs> What a way to end the year. <sighs> oh, this is a good one. How do I tell my husband that his fat belly is crushing me when he sits on my face so I can suck his dick? <laughs> Maybe you find another position. You know, like, there are, you ain't gotta sit his fat ass on your face. You know, maybe lay him down. Like, shit. Damn, what a night this has been. Orlando, you guys have been absolutely amazing.